Hey, this is Brum from Brum Gaming, and you're watching a tutorial on key bindings, optimizing key bindings, and your user interface. So, recently I've looked at you know a variety of specs, Dirty Fighting, Sharpshooter, and I've come across that Sharpshooter just seems to be the optimal spec uh, for level 50 uh, PVE. It's also fairly effective in PVE, or rather PVP. Um, so I wanted to take a look at, you know, how is my UI set up? What are my keybinds like in order to maximize the damage and the effectiveness that I have uh, in, in both PVP and PVE? And the first thing to, to note about keybinds or binds in general is it's really important to have everything bound. Now, whether that's to mouse buttons, you know, you might have something like a Razer Naga, or you've got a bunch of buttons on your mouse, uh, keyboard, whatever. You just need to have all your buttons bound. Um, key, you know, clicking key, the buttons with your mouse is very inefficient because it prevents you from moving, prevents you from looking at things on the screen, um, you know, and, and really just being aware of everything going on because you're looking at a button to, to actually click it. Um, so in actually binding your keys, you'll have uh, quite a bit more increase in your damage and just overall effectiveness as a player. So you notice that I actually have everything key bound um, on, on the screen. The first thing to note really about keybinds is it's there's no optimal setup. You can't take my keybinds and have it be like, wow, these are the perfect keybinds for me. Um, so keybinds are, are designed, you gotta design them so that they're comfortable for you to use. Um, so for example, I personally use the tilde key, one, two, three, four, and five as my primary buttons. I use the shift and alt key as a modifier and I don't use the control key at all. You know, for, for the way my hands and keyboard are set up, the, you know, hitting the control key is just kind of, I have to be con almost contortionist with, uh, you know, with the particular size of my hand and where the control key is located. And that might not be the case for you. So you want to look at, you know, what are the, what's the most comfortable way for me to get to the buttons uh, that I need to get to, um, what buttons don't I like to use at all, um, you know, and really see what works. So for me, you know, what the first thing I do is I look at, okay, what buttons can I clear up? What, you know, what can I free up for using um, keybinds for? Um, a, a real common one that I do is I actually switch strafe from the default Q and E to A and D. So instead of keyboard turning with your A key and D key, you can try strafing A and D uh, in combination with your mouse and obviously the W key for forward. Um, and then that frees up the Q and E key for some critical binds because that is such prime real estate on your keyboard uh, for some, for some uh, important abilities. Um, the next thing you want to look at is within whatever class you are, whether it be a gunslinger, sniper, or any other class, you want to look at what are your most important abilities. And you want to kind of have those in mind as you're designing which, which abilities go on which, you know, which keyboard buttons. Um, for me, cover is obviously really essential, so I have that bound to the default uh, F. Now instead of having it um, as take cover, you know, this is natural cover as F. Um, I have take cover in place as F, and then take natural cover as shift F, simply because I take cover in place uh, about 95% of the time, and I take cover, you know, natural cover about 5% of the time. So, you know, just in, in noting your abilities, you'll, you'll just realize that a non-modifier ability like one instead of shift one uh, is gonna be much easier to hit and more reactive than, than its modifier uh, component. So the next thing you look at is, okay, well, what's your rotation? What are the abilities that you commonly use, whether it be PvE, PvP, you know, what are your core damage, healing abilities, whatever they may be. And for me, they're Trick Shot, Charge Burst, Speed Shot, Aim Shot, and Vital Shot. And those are like the core. If I'm doing damage, those are the five abilities that I'm most often pushing. Um, and makes sense, right? One through five, easy to hit, those are the abilities you know, that would be bound to those keys. Now you can look at it like, what are the order of those abilities? Some people like, you know, if if aim shot is the first ability you do, then you put that on one, then if the next one is two, you know, you kind of do it in order. I'm not a fan of that. Um, I actually prefer to use two and three for more common abilities, and then work sort of outside of that, you know, one and four, and then five. Um, basically, whichever have a longer cooldowns, meaning I'll use them less frequently, I put them on the outside using two and three as like the core. Um, the reason I do that is for me, 
you know, the two buttons really easy to hit with my middle finger, the three buttons a pointer finger, and then, you know, one is a ring finger, which is a little less easy, you know, but not, not terrible, and then four is sort of a stretched pointer finger instead of just a, a quick um, hit at it. And then five, you know, again, is you know, 15 or 18 second cooldown, depending on your talent. Um, and then, you know, that's just a, a, a bit of a reach. Um, I don't, again, I don't use the six key or anything beyond that simply because it would bring my, for me, it brings my hand too far off the movement keys and jeopardizes me actually being able to, to move while I'm, um, you know, while I'm playing. So that's, that's the first thing you need to look at is, you know, what are the most common abilities that you use? From there, you want to also look at what are, you know, common abilities or abilities I need to quickly get at. Um, in addition to the, mo the, the abilities that you uh, need to quickly get at, you want to consider what abilities you need to use while moving. So for example, if you're using the W key to move forward and you use a two key, the, the two key for the ability that you um, use while moving, and you, you know, I don't know if you've ever tried that on your on your keyboard, but W and two are right next to each other. So there's like a weird, you know, movement key with your middle, then move to two with your ring finger. It's possible, but not really that efficient. Now, if you look at, you know, moving forward with W and pushing the E key, that's a really natural, um, you know, really natural movement uh, that you may want to, you know, may want to look at for for some more movement oriented buttons. Um, the E key is also prime real estate, um, you know, for a very, very frequently used ability. Um, I actually have it as my uh, flurry of bolts, which is the auto attack. Um, and I have it simultaneously bound to a mouse button. So depending when I'm moving, if I'm moving forward and I can't, you know, I don't want to use the E key, I can actually just tap my mouse button. Um, or I can use the E key depending on, you know, what, what's going on in the moment. Um, I bind buffs, I bind sprint, I bind uh, mount, everything. I actually use F keys for that. Um, and really the next thing you want to look at after you've bound your, your abilities to, you know, the, the you know, most comfortable and most easy to use, depending on the situation, um, is where they're located on the screen. So you'll notice that most of the abilities that I have on this bottom, you know, the center bar and the bottom center bar are cooldown based abilities. Um, looking at Vital Shot, Vital Shot's actually not a cooldown based ability. There's no cooldown on it and you cast it, you know, 15 or 18 seconds. So theoretically, I don't actually need to see this button. So I can move it and I'll swap it with Diversion, which is a one minute cooldown critical i mean use it a lot in pvp you use it a lot in pve so it's important to see the cooldown timer on that now i don't want it as five i still want it as shift g so i'm going to go into my keybinds go into my quick slots find five switch it with shift g then scroll down look for the gap between shift t and shift v which is right here and then make that five you know, some people say, but that doesn't make sense because you've got one, two, three, four here. Wouldn't you want your five key there? Your brain actually doesn't need to see that. You know, it doesn't need to see the five key to know to push the five key and what it does. You'll actually just be playing. You'll tap the five key and you'll go from there. Um, so it can be off to the side. You know, you'll get used to it very quickly. And then you'll have the ability to see, okay, shift G is on a one minute cooldown. Okay, now it's on 30 seconds or whatever it is um, to actually know when to use it. So, you know, sure, I could probably rearrange these a little bit better, you know, putting maybe all my damage abilities on the left side of this, putting all my utility abilities on the right side of it. Um, but, you know, for now, that's, that's sort of what I have. But, you know, you can break the mold of having them, you know, in order. You can break the mold. Basically, whatever works for you is the, is the, the, key, uh, the key here. While being able to see your primary cooldown abilities um, without having to, like, look up top, okay, top left, okay, down in the middle, okay, top right, oh, wait, I'm looking at the boss, you know, really just focusing your eyes on all the information that it needs to gather without having to, to, to really jump around too much. Um, so that's an over, just really an, a quick overview on keybinds. The, the best idea is to play around with it, see what works for you. Personally, I love, um, you know, going into PvP, messing around with my keybinds. It's a great way to relearn, you know, kind of what you've done. And, and don't be afraid if it feels really weird. Don't like switch it back because it feels weird. Play with it, play with it for a day, play with it for a week. Um, and then, you know, see if it works out because obviously it takes time to relearn and kind of like retool your brain to which buttons will go, you know, with, with which uh, abilities.
Um, but overall, like I've been kind of saying this whole time, find what works for you. Find what condenses the amount of information your brain has to take in at one time by centralizing uh, your cooldown abilities in one place. Um, and then practice with it. And if it's no good, then switch it up again. You know, have fun with it.